First of all, I'm uh, very glad, uh, I'm absolutely happy that uh, we are witnessing uh, uh, a scheme like this one, uh, which uh, has improved uh, lives of so many uh, to a level uh, many people not have thought could be achieved in such a, a short time. Uh, Howard, I wanted to thank you for not only your friendship with uh, this country of Rwanda and the people and myself, uh, but also for the partnership that has become very productive in this way, uh, where uh, in agriculture, in conservation, in uh, all that have come together to make a big difference for so many lives. We are told 2,000 people plus who are benefiting from this, not just benefiting by receiving handouts or anything, but receiving uh, best practice, uh, different inputs uh, from uh, the investments uh, Howard you have made. Uh, I, I don't think we can be more thankful. trying to explain to them that we wanted to bring center pivot irrigation to Nasho. And they looked at me with these blank stares. They had no idea what I was trying to explain. So I got my iPad out and I tried to show them these pictures. And they still looked at me like I was a little bit crazy. And then I thought, well, maybe I can explain it. We're going to bring a system that you turn the switch on and you have rain. And then they really thought I was crazy. And so until we were able to come and show it and demonstrate it, I don't really think people believed it could work. And of course it does work, and it's been a great success. The biggest challenge, I think, in all of it, and I think about back home, is back home you can't get two or three farmers to agree on anything. So I was thinking, how do you get 2,000 farmers to agree? even though they're broken up in these little clusters. And so I knew that that would be a huge challenge. And um, Magnifique and his team, Minagri, um, Rab, all, everyone has worked together to make that possible. And it, it's been a huge undertaking. I, I don't know anywhere in the world where this has been done. And um, it's such a pleasure to be here and see and learn about the success. Everyone has, has definitely seen a big change, big improvement from uh, one who was producing uh, half a ton or one ton per hectare of maize, seeing up to five 
others close to 10 tons. You can see there is, so we are talking about how do we even continue to take those who are seeing uh, one and a half or two tons to take them to that level. Uh, and we are talking of saying we just need uh, to keep close to these people and advise them and work with them and even show what they are missing, uh, that they are capable of achieving, of doing, because the other ones have. Uh, and so if you can take it from three, four, five hectares to close to 10, I mean, uh, tons per hectare, uh, then it is only showing what is possible that everyone can do. And, and that is the spirit that uh, characterizes what we have been doing or want to do. And uh, uh, Howard Buffett Foundation has been very central here in uh, helping us drive uh, this spirit of achieving, of success in the transformation of uh, the lives of Rwandans and the country as a whole. Kubionje wungu kuvinzi bukanje ona ringereye, muje chamre tutamu na gana toni mwikuri hektari, ari kubunjewe ngeze kuri toni umunani kuri hektari. Toni umunani kuri hektari bigori, toni imweni giche kubishimbu. Toni imweni giche kuri soya. Urumbare nubu inzi mkumu mwaga wa majegu teni mbele, ukuri chijenu kumbi libyari bimezi. Kwa jira genzari kome chanu, Ari kuboye na tujere la nje, tushwa kwa tukwa ravuye mwa kujana, tukwa jana mwa kuri mwongo ili nguwe kujana. Tuga banya inzara. Yari jana, mwa wenda tukwa tujere mwa kuri mwongo ili nguwe kujana, kuga banya inzara. Usembele na kugira ngu tukwa hinga gagote. Tukwa hinga ganavi, tanumu saruro. Mwubu mwa kuri hejitari, mwenye shobra kwa yabu na ho, toni mwenye yu gori. Ari kubungu ubu nkubwiye ko tugeze hagati yenye nesheshe ati umuntu azigeraho ndetse no gukomeza bitewe n'ubushobozi ariko imyumvire yacu kwigenda yiyongera niko n'umusaruro ugenda wiyongera We came to an agreement on this trip with the government the National Transportation Agency to finish the road that is going to connect Rico there's a segment that needs to be completed I think about 35 36 kilometers to complete RICA and NASHO. And we've come to uh, an agreement on how we're gonna get that started and concluded. And so we're gonna be able to connect RICA in a way that <clears throat> right now, it's much more difficult to get to NASHO. And the last thing I would say is that with the opening of RICA and now having um, the opportunity to connect that with NASHO we're going to create a powerhouse of research and extension that does not exist today in Africa. And Rwanda has provided the leadership and the support for us to be able to do that. And President Kagame has put together an incredible team of people and ministers that has allowed us to be able to be successful. And so, Mr. President, I thank you.